When inspecting components, it is possible to reduce the inspection time with the use of a fixture, a ferro scan arm, and life color scanning. Here we have secured the fixture and aligned it to the CAT model. We have also imported the component CAT, which is currently hidden. If we enter the CAT workspace, we can see the imported CAT models. From the ribbon, select Part Properties. Select the fixture CAT in the left hand pane. Now we can disable the fixture CAT and hide it by unchecking the boxes. Then select the component CAT in the left hand pane and show it by checking the visible box. This now displays the component CAT that we need to inspect to. The fixture is used to locate the component in the correct position, as shown. We can now return to the features workspace. Since the fixture is aligned to the CAT model, we can simply locate the actual component onto it, and then inspect directly to the CAT model of the component. As we scan the component, we will see live colorization of the CAT model, based upon its deviation. First we are going to change the deviation color scheme, to only show go and no go colors. This can be done from the view tab, and then selecting manage custom tolerances. We can now select the go, no go tolerances that were previously created, and saved. This will display, green for intolerance areas, and red for any areas out of tolerance. Now from the measure tab. Check the Show Featured Properties box, and then select Point Cloud from the ribbon. The Properties window will be opened, to allow us to choose the Capture Settings, and also the Colorization options. Clip Create, to start scanning. As we scan the component, the CAT surfaces are automatically color green, for areas within our plus, minus 1 mm tolerance, and red for areas outside of this. Here the actual CAD surface is being colored, as this is the option we have chosen in the preferences. It is also possible to display the point cloud, and colorize the individual points captured, by choosing this option in the preferences. The user sees live feedback regarding the condition of the component, and can quickly see areas that are out of tolerance, without having to do additional analysis, allowing an immediate decision on whether to accept the component, or reject it. Once a component is inspected, the user simply removes it from the fixture. Another component can be located onto the fixture, then inspected by simply hiding the previous point cloud, and repeating the point cloud measurement. That concludes this video, thanks for watching.